Hello, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on angles, angles, and more angles. We're going to learn what an angle is. We're going to learn what they look like. We're going to learn how to label them. Okay, ready to go? Whoa, you shouldn't be because you should be asking yourself, why do I need to know about angles? Why are angles even important? Well, first of all, angles are all around us. Most things uh, that we can hold in our hands uh, come together or are made from different angles. Look at the computer that you're playing around on right now. All the keys come together and create little squares that have angles all over them. The screen that you're looking at is probably a rectangle, uh, which has uh, angles all over it. Um, you know, uh, notebooks, triangles, anything you're playing with on the playground outside has angles on it a lot of times. So it's important to be able to identify these things. And also, anyone that builds anything really has to understand what angles look like, what angles are, how to use them, how to play with them. Here's, here's three pictures of some buildings and different architecture that I found on the internet. I'm not sure where they're from. That's not important. But these things have angles all over them. Uh, by the end of this lesson... I'm gonna challenge you to find some angles on these three different pictures, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. What are angles? Okay, angles are what are formed when either lines, line segments, or rays come together. If you don't know what a line or a line segment or a ray is, you're in the wrong lesson, back it up, okay? Check out uh, my previous three lessons and learn what those three things are. So let's start easily. Let's, let's take lines, okay? Lines go on forever in two directions, right? Here's a line. There's no angle. Well, technically, there's a 180 degree angle, but that's a little advanced. Let's, let's start with some intersecting angles, okay? Here's another line. They intersect. See how they intersect right at this point right here? Let's throw that point down there and label it point A, okay? So now we have two lines that intersect at point A. We've also created some rays. Um, there are four angles that we have created. Here's an angle here. Let me change the colors to help you. Here's an angle here. Here's an angle here. And here's an angle here, okay? Lines come together. They create angles. Let's do one with line segments. So here's a line segment. Okay, line segments have points. Let's label this point Z. Let's label this point Y. And then let's create another line segment right here. Let's line segment Z. Let's label this point W. Okay, so we have line segment ZY and we have line segment ZW. They come together. Look, it's an angle. Okay, no longer does the line just go straight, but it stops and goes into a different direction and it creates this angle right in here. Okay, just like we have here, let me see if I can help by showing you a few of them here. Here's one angle here. Remember, here's one angle here. Here's our third angle on this figure and then our fourth angle here. Well, look, here's this angle right here. Okay. Let me just show you what a few more of them might look like. Let's let's use rays. Okay, rays start at a point and go on forever. Okay, I, I won't even connect this ray. Let's just start this ray here. Start this ray here and go on forever. Okay, so we've got two rays. They're crisscrossing and they're creating angles. There's an angle. There's an angle. There's an angle. And there's an angle. We're going to learn how to measure these and how to name these later. But for now, I just want you to see what they are. Okay? I'm going to make a funky one here. I'm going to do a line. Here's a line. Goes on both directions forever. Here's a line segment. Ends in points. Let's label those points. Always label the points. A, B. And then I'm going to even throw a ray into the mix here. So let's see. How am I going to do this? Let's, let's do a ray here. Ray starts at a point. And whoops, it goes. Oops, I lost my uh, I lost my ink. Goes on forever in one direction. Whoa! Now look at that shape. We're not going to stop and identify all the angles that are in there, but there's a lot of angles there. Let's just take a look at a few. Look, here's one here. There's teeny little angles in here. There's angles out here. There's 
big angles over here. There's little angles inside here. There's angles all over. So the more lines and line segments and rays you have coming together, the more angles you have. Let's learn how to label them, okay? We're gonna learn how to label an angle. You can, they're easy to see, but they're not always easy to label, okay? Uh, and I've, I've added here, the central point of an angle is called the vertex. So let's just start, I'm gonna start out with two line segments. Let's just do an easy little line segment A, B, okay, just line segment A, B, and let's do another line segment, line segment B, C, okay, see the two line segments there, there's one, and there's another, they come together, they form an angle, okay, now, how do we label this angle? Well. It says the central point of the angle is called a vertex. Okay, so this is our vertex here. I'm gonna, let's just, just so we remember, I'm gonna underline the word vertex in red, and I'm gonna circle our vertex in red. Vertex, you can think of it as the point of an angle. So all angles have points. Some points are really sharp and pointy, some points are almost flat lines, but they always have a point. If it's an angle, it has a point. And the point is called the vertex. Okay, so getting back to how to label them. Well, we start out with the with our first letter, letter A. The middle number of an angle label is always the vertex. So we then go to B. And then our final point on the angle is C. And all we do is draw a little angle in front of it. Boom, done, labeled. If your teacher said, hey, label this angle for me, you could be like, that's easy. That's angle A, B, C. As long as I have the vertex in the middle, I could write it either way. Your teacher might say, whoa, hold on. I want to make sure you understand this. Is there another name for that angle? And you could say, yeah, there's another name for that angle. It could also be called angle C, B, A. Angles can go either way, forwards or backwards, as long as the vertex is in the middle. And look, our vertex is in the middle again, right? Vertex is the point, B is at the point, B is in the middle. We've labeled this angle two different ways. So you could call this angle ABC, or you could call this angle CBA. Make sense? Let's try, a, if, if it doesn't, back it up. I'm gonna try one that's a little more difficult. So I'm gonna take one of those funky shapes, or shapes, they're not really shapes, I'm gonna take some of those funky line intersections I'm gonna do lines this time and create some angles out of lines. So let's take these two lines here. Remember lines go in two directions forever. I'm gonna add a third line here. And then wherever lines intersect or cross, I always like to create points. Boom, boom, boom. Let's call this point Z call this point Y, and call this point X, okay? So we have point Z, point Y, and point X. We've made a whole bunch of angles in here. Look, here's one. Hmm, how would we label that angle? Well, if you remember what we said before, as long as we keep the vertex in the middle, we can label it either way. You can say this is angle Y, Z, X, or angle X, Z, Y. Let's write one of those. So that is angle Y. My Y's look a lot like my X's. I'm gonna to try to change them a little bit. Z, X, or another name for it is angle X, Z, Y. I'm gonna draw your attention to it one more time. If you notice the vertex, okay, remember the pointy part of this angle here is always in the middle, see? Point Z is at the vertex, so Z goes in the middle, and then you can write it either way. Uh, how about this? Can you see any other angles in there? How about this one? Here's one. Can you label that one? Well, let's try it. Well, we remember the vertex has to be in the middle. And then either of the other ones can go first. So you can go Z, Y, X, or X, Y, Z. Okay, that is angle. See how I write that little, it just looks like a little angle. I just draw a little angle in front. Doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to look like this angle or anything, okay? Some angles look like this. See that gigantic angle right there? 
It's a big angle. But when I'm labeling it, I still write just a little angle there. Okay, little angle Z, Y, X. Let's call it Z, Y, X. And another name for it would be angle X, Y, Z. Do you see? Okay, now labeling angles gets more complex as things get crazier and you would put more lines in there. And really, if you look, I want to draw your attention. There's a lot of angles here. Look, here's an angle out here. That one would be difficult to label. Why? Because we don't have a point out here. So look, we have our vertex would be Y, but we would go X, Y, what? Well, you'd have to create a point out there. Let's say this is point D. And then it would be angle X, Y, D. Okay? You want me to write that one down for you? That'll be the last one I do. I'm having fun. X, I know, math isn't supposed to be fun, especially not labeling angles, but for some reason I'm digging this. So look, there's angle X, Y, D. There's our vertex right there. Uh, what's, what's, what's another name for that angle? Did you say D, Y, X? You should have, because look, you can go the other way too. Cool. Does that help? I hope it helps. Uh, if it doesn't, back it up and check that out a few times. Maybe, you know, practice uh, scribbling down a couple different line segments, create some intersections, label them with points, uh, and then see if you can label your own angles, okay? Um, you know, like I said, back the video up, watch it again if you're still having problems, okay? What did we learn today? Well, we learned a whole bunch of stuff. First, <laughs> angles are made from lines, line segments, and rays. Okay, wherever these things come together, we create angles. The central point of an angle, or the middle spot, the pointy part, ooh, maybe I should write that down. I bet you'll remember that if I write it in red. Look, the pointy part. The pointy part. The pointy part of an angle is the vertex. That makes sense. We talked about that. Ah. And angles are all around us. They are. Now, you should be able to look. They're not labeled. There's not always like an A and a B and a C there. But we've talked about how different things are actually line segments, like the door. Look at the door in the room you're sitting at. Okay, you see those two line segments that come together on the door, you know, that open and close? Ooh, is that an angle? Yes, it is. There's four angles on your door. There might be more if there's windows on it. Okay, so... You know, angles are, in fact, all around us. And they come together to create shapes and polygons. Uh, and that's something we're going to continue to talk about as we move forward in geometry. Okay, so try it. If you think you understand it, try it. You're going to have to prove it. Okay, first, uh, I want you to take a separate piece of paper. Like I said before, draw some lines, some line segments, some rays. Have them crisscross and intersect all over the place. Label those little points. And see if you can identify and label some angles and then i have even have on there circle the vertex okay um just so that you remember and have a little extra uh a little extra practice with identifying that means knowing what the vertex is uh, i want you to create your own shape using as many angles as you can okay it doesn't have i mean a triangle well that has three angles right but see if you can create a shape that has i don't know how many angles can you fit in there 10, 20, can you get bigger than that? That's that's my challenge to you. Uh, and then finally, look at these three pictures that we saw earlier in this little presentation. Do you see the angles in there now? Do you see how if you're going to build bridges and if you're going to you know put buildings together, if you're going to be an architect that designs these things, you have to understand these things. Look, there's angles all over there. See if you can find at least one angle in each one of these pictures, okay? Challenge, challenge accepted. It better be accepted. Show your mom, show your teacher. Uh, I don't know, nudge your classmate next to you. Show them, um, do your best, okay? I hope this helped uh, and I will see you in Angles 2.0.